This comments FDR shoutout goes to Banacular568. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. How's it going? My name is Chris, you're watching Fish for Thought, and I need a haircut. Isn't that right, Rapashi? Do I need a haircut? Yes. I gotta clap my hands. Cause that's all people want from me. Just fish tank review. Fish tank review. Why isn't it happening? Why? <laughs> Okay, that's all right, sure. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good because I actually got to play volleyball yesterday and I haven't been able to play volleyball for so long. Playing outside is not my thing. I usually play indoor volleyball because you can do all these cool tricks like you can see on that anime Haikyuu, my number one favorite sports anime. The only sports anime that I would ever watch really. And playing outside, I, I got like sunburned slash tanned at the same time. I definitely got like three shades darker and I got a bruise. Yep, I don't know how and my middle finger got stubbed because I was blocking. It was a glorious block. We got the point, but was it worth my middle finger? No, it wasn't. Anyways, I got some comments saying, hey Chris, we wanna sponsor your video again, like in the comment section. So yeah, you guys can sponsor this video by giving it a like. Thank you so much for being this video sponsors. Okay, cut the crap, Chris. Go go review some fish tanks, bro. That's not what we pay you for, bro. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry my overlords. Rapashi is pretty colored down right now. Um. She was more colored down when I first took her out, but she's she's usually sleeping and having a nice little snooze when I'm recording some of these, so sometimes I don't like to take her out. I'm no fish expert, but I don't think that's right. <laughs> I'm no K-pop expert, but I'm pretty sure that's G-Dragon's younger brother. I'm not sure what's going on there. Might be some avant-garde fashion choices <laughs> being made, but one thing I do know is, hey man, stick to K-pop. Leave the fish tank hobby alone, buddy. That is horrible what you're doing, okay? I mean, yes, all the girls will be swooned and distracted by your amazingly good looks. And then they'll be like, wow, this guy is so good with wildlife. Look, he's hugging fish. He's like a fish whisperer. Nothing hurts me more, okay? This is the opposite of that. This is a complete lie. Those are blood parasyclids. They need a tank that is a million times bigger than whatever that is. And they actually need a filter, they need a heater, they need all the fixins of a fish tank. They're probably doing this for a photo shoot, but I think you can already see some stress marks on the fish. It's not worth it, man. You already look good. You don't need to hug some fish. Go hug a dog or a cat. I'm pretty sure you'll get more traction anyway by doing that. Dude, dude. It's a nice picture, okay? It's like a vintage sort of picture and yeah, you drink alcohol, good for you, you're a grown up now. Leave the fish alone. Is it me or does that one on the left look like a clownfish? I'm tripping, right? It's because of this long hair blocking my view that I can't see. And of course we got the life bearers. Rest in peace to all life bearers who have to suffer and succumb to this crap. I mean, do I even need to tell people that fish shouldn't be put into alcohol bottles at this point? You guys should already know, right? This is Christian from Germany. A, I don't know any German, uh, nine <laughs> Volkswagen. I don't, I'm sorry. Cool tank, bro. Okay, you know what, this is annoying. Okay, I don't need, I don't need to be that anime right now. Okay, just brush it to the side. I don't even care. Nice little tank, you got Ember Tetris. I probably still wouldn't put Ember Tetris in a tank this small. I'd probably go with something more micro, like maybe some chili rasboras, somewhere in the micro raspora realm. Because embers, they stay small, but they're still, they need a, bigger school and if it's a bigger school they will need more room than this. I like that it's planted, it's pretty neat. Um, you got floaters up top keeping the nitrates down. I think those are crypts always welcome in any scape. Might need some more hardscape or maybe some more plants. Uh, might need a little maintenance here or there. I see some brown algae. All in all, not a bad tank. 3.9 out of 5. Keep it up. Just why? <laughs> My dude saw a little stool for children and then flipped it upside down and was like, oh shoot. You know what? That could be, that could make a really nice fish tank for betta fish. The creativity of some people, man. What could you have been doing if you weren't wasting your time designing this fish abuse trap? You could have been actually doing something meaningful and instead you ended up on FTR. I guess that's not the worst case scenario but you ended up on FTR on the bad side, like not the good side. <laughs> you must be feeling pretty dumb now, huh? Aquascaping is my passion. It's not good to laugh at people. That doesn't, I mean, that looks so bad that it probably can come off as good to some people. Again, that's like the Armageddon version of SpongeBob. Like if the series kept continuing and then became like SpongeBob Shippuden, 
And then, you know, there's that anime、uh, opening for SpongeBob, the fan made one.、Um, that reminds me of it. That's probably SpongeBob's house. That pineapple has a mohawk. I don't know if the pineapple house in SpongeBob actually has a mohawk. Anyway, we're just avoiding the elephant in the room, which is why is there so much algae? Holy crap. Some people like algae. Not too many, but I can see where they're coming from. Algae is natural, there's algae found in nature. I don't know if this is what <laughs> is going on with that though. There's usually a bit more nuance to an aquascape that incorporates algae, <laughs> and probably less pineapples in it too. You know what? I, I'm confused. I don't know. Maybe this is such an advanced form of aquascaping that it's beyond me. This is Gen X or whatever the youngest people group are called. I'm a millennial, by the way, so any millennials. Watching my videos right now, shout out to you guys. I'm on the younger side of millennials. I mean, like, I'm just touching millennial. I'm, I'm almost in the, the next gen, but I'm still, a I'm still a millennial. And that's right. I'm keeping the millennial sort of、uh, stereotype going. Being a YouTuber. Let's go. This tank is sent in by Emil. Always like a arch sort of thing. That's nice. And you made it quite natural. Some arches are super artificial. You, you could really tell they just, they just wanted an arch somewhere in their fish tank and they went for it. But this one, it, it seemed to me that you were playing around with it and you're like,、mm, that looks good. Gonna make an arch really naturally. Stocking is quite low.、Um, if there are only two guppies in there, oh, I see some Corydoras. Ooh, that is an interesting species, subspecies of Corydoras. I don't really know what it's called. It kind of reminds me of a panda cory, but it's also got a stripe on top. I'm super jealous. I would love to have some of those cories.、Um, but if there's only two guppies in this tank, I would suggest adding at least one more. You always want to go for odd numbers for in these、uh, situations because guppies are not aggressive, but they can still kind of establish a pecking order. And you don't want to only have two male guppies. Trying to establish pecking orders on each other. Sometimes one of them can, the weaker one, can be chased so much around the tank that they basically expend all their energy and then not eat enough, not replenish enough energy, and actually die that way. The scape is enjoyable, it's pretty simple.、Um, I think you have some S repins around the stone. I think you should keep that up, it'll create a very natural and nice effect. So, once your S repens get s taller, you can trim it and you can replant it and create a really nice effect around your hardscape. It's really good. We're gonna give this a 4 out of 5. Keep it up. Posted in a Paku group. I didn't know those groups existed. Just talking about Paku.、Hmm. He complained that they were fighting. I wonder why. <laughs> why are my fish fighting? <laughs> Gee, I don't know. Maybe、uh, maybe because you're, in, you're just horrible. Maybe because you're just clueless. But I'm glad he's in a Paku group because now he's probably gonna be able to learn exactly what he can improve so that his Paku are no longer being abused. That's great. Baby steps. That's all we need. Baby steps. Poor red tail is as long as that tank is deep. Ooh, the person who posted this says, he says, feed me, I'm a piggy red tail catfish. LOL. We got a comment that says, I think it's more, this tank is too small. Actually, most tanks are too small, and I need a pond. Amen, brother. Red tails grow gigantic. I have this、uh, picture that I took at the Korean aquarium, Coex, and、uh, it was right beside a Red tail catfish, and it was half the size of my body. So, yeah, good luck fitting that into a tank if you're not a crazy monster fish keeper. Seriously, put it in a pond or just don't get a red tail. They're gonna be massive. You can't, you can't, you can't handle it, man. This tank is sent in by at probably Prax, and there's a siren. I hope whatever is happening that people are okay. Anyway, this tank, not bad. Understocked, you got some moss. Growing out, you got a sword in the back. Simple scape, not really doing anything too fancy, not really doing anything wrong. Not bad. I would, of course, recommend more plants, also more hardscape. Maybe also work on trying to do a carpet. You can carpet without CO2. I've done it with pearlweed, I've done it with dwarf sag. I've got a video coming out for that if it's not already posted. I'm not sure <laughs> what I'm posting on YouTube anymore. But hey, it's a good tank.、Um, four out of five, keep it up. Keeping hermit crabs in tiny wire cages seems like a good idea. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, unlike axolotls, unlike those other pets that I'm like, I'm not sure how to keep, I actually did a lot of research on hermit crabs because I was thinking of keeping one. And you know why I didn't? It's because they need so much stuff. I get quite upset now that I see something like this. I'm not even gonna watch this because I can just tell I'm gonna get a headache. I'm pretty prone to headaches. These two look like they would definitely give me one. Turn it into a migraine upgrade. Yeah, hermit crabs need like. 
20 gallon, 30 gallon tanks. They can grow big and they like to climb and they also need a very high temperature. They also need very high humidity. They also need a lot of different food choices. They need substrate that is deep so they can burrow when they want to. Man, they need so much. That is the opposite. I mean, you shouldn't even take it home with such a small container. I recommend a minimum of 2.5 gallons to take home your hermit crab from the store. That's overkill, but I'm trying to illustrate a point here. And they, they live for like 30 years. Are these, you're telling me these girls are going to keep their hermit crab for 30 years. They were mentally prepared for that. No, here's the truth. They did no research and those hermit crabs are gonna die in a week. Light Zuko sent in this tank. Very nice, full of potential, especially those two wood pieces. I would definitely cover those wood pieces with Anubis Nana, Petite, uh, Buse of Philandra, some mosses. I love the way you have scaped out your hardscape, your uh, rockscape. It's very scattered and it's nice. What this tank is begging for is a carpet and I see you've started it. You've scattered some, maybe it's hair grass. I'm not entirely sure. Hopefully that takes over and starts carpeting. I think your light is bright enough, unless it's just the glare for the camera, but it seems okay. You got nice big swords, you got a angelfish, and some life bearers, and perhaps some tetras. Stocking is pretty light. If you want to add more fish, I suggest adding on to that school of whatever you have. Can't wait to see everything grow out. And this is going to be a typical like, oh this is perfect, this is perfect. 4.3 out of 5. I'm sorry, but yeah, 4.3 out of 5, good job. I hate everything about this. Please don't turn any glass container into a cruel fish tank. How to turn any boring alcohol bottle into a bougie ass fish tank by Will Fulton. Will, you are a clueless little guy. They emptied that vodka bottle into their stomachs and then they got drunk and they're like, yo, yo, you know what? You know what would be cool, bro, to, to put in this vodka, bro? Dude, we can like... Yo, yo, listen up. No, no, no. Stop. Okay. We can put a fish in this vodka bottle, bro. You know those like Chinese fighting fish? And then an hour later, after a very hazardous trip to PetSmart, you end up with that. Bougie ass fish tank? I think it's just ass fish tank. You can take out the bougie part. Thanks. Screams. I'm not gonna scream. Don't worry. There is no place for the turtle to exit the water. The tank is overcrowded and too small. None of these decorations are appropriate. No basking lamp for the turtle. This tank is so bad, I'm about to pop a blood vessel. Spell vessel wrong, but I'll forgive you for that because you basically did my job. Thanks for describing the whole thing. What else am I supposed to say now? Help me. I had nothing else to say. Better in 10 gallon, flourishing beautifully. Just an amazing, amazing cloud of beautifulness. Beta in a vase. Oh, what happened? Bro, you look like a pop balloon. You look like a wet turkey on Thanksgiving, whatever that means. By the way, for those of you who are not Pokemon savvy, that's Alteria, the evolved form of Swablu. It's a cool Pokemon. It's a, it's flying type, I think. It's a bird, but it's also, it may also be dragon type, so it can learn dragon moves. I was really into Pokemon. I still kind of am, sort of, but I stopped after like, after that gen where they introduced um, a snow cone Pokemon and a chandelier Pokemon. After that, I'm just like, this isn't Pokemon anymore, so I'm just gonna pretend uh, Gen 5 was the last gen or Gen 4 or whatever. And I think you should too. I think we should get on this movement where we separate what's actually Pokemon and what's not, because they really just lost it at that point. I think it was called Chandelure. <laughs> and then the snow cone Pokemon was called vanilla ice or something i don't know hey thank you for accompanying me to the end of my video it's always great to watch the whole video because then you'll be helping push out the youtube algorithm and i really thank you for that it also tells me that you guys are enjoying my videos so thank you so much for that if you really enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe there'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet